Okay, let's just get to it. So we'll start with a centering practice. Um, you know, invitation, this class tends to be a little bit more heating, right? So we're like kind of waking up. Um, so if seated works for you, that's what I encourage, but you know, like do whatever works in your body. So if you're like, man, I really want to sit, but I need support, then, you know, sit in a chair, lean against a wall, and then, you know, recline if that's what works best for you, okay? Oh, and then please take a breath or two or three or five and pull yourself into your body, right? If you're anything like me, right, there's a lot of spinning that goes around when we're getting to arrive in this place, right? So just give yourself a moment to come into the body. And I like to do that by finding a little bit of a sway. So feeling the sits bones and the legs or whatever else is connected to the floor, connected to the floor. And then allow the spine to move from side to side a little bit as it feels safe. Okay, like feel your structure, feel your physical structure. And then uh, if it's comfortable for you, we'll close the eyes. And it's okay if that's not, you can soften the gaze too. Sometimes it's it's helpful to just kind of look down the bridge of your nose or a few feet in front of you. And then continue to anchor yourself inside yourself. So see if you can find your breath. There's no right or wrong way to do this, right? So wherever you feel the breath, whether that's the movement of the lungs, the belly, the nasal passages, anywhere in between. It's a practice of coming home to yourself. So however you want to do that. Feel the weight of your hands and your arms. And then let's take a little investigation of what's going on in the mouth. So see if you can relax the tongue and go really deep into the mouth, like right where the gateway to the throat is. See if you can soften the base of the tongue just a little bit. And as you do so, can you find a little more spaciousness by finding a gentle lift of the soft palate, almost like you're creating like a cathedral dome in the back of the mouth. And then from that place, can you start to feel the breath moving up and down, in and out through the body? And then as we're here in this practice, just noticing what's showing up for you right now. What are you noticing for thoughts, emotions, sensation? And can you notice these movements as they begin, they peak, they fall, and they disappear? Now let's see if we can notice the noticer. So Right, so you're paying attention gently but diligently to sensation, to thought, emotions, right, the breath. Can you turn that awareness inward even more and notice the part of you that is you that is noticing? So I know for me this practice can be a little bit of a mind bender, right? So it might be just for a flip, like a split second, but you just kind of pull the attention inward. You notice this witness and then you're back to noticing sensation. That's okay. Make it like a game, right? So we're noticing our sensation. We're noticing our thoughts, our feelings. And then just for a moment at the snap of my finger, can you pull the attention inward and notice the noticer? So...
And then allowing the attention to go where it wants to go again. And then once again, when you hear the snap of my finger, see if you can just for a split second, pull the attention back into the witness. So noticing. Let go of any efforting. And then one more time when you hear the snap of my finger, turning your awareness on yourself. Give yourself permission to soften. Once again, letting go of any effort. And then bringing your attention back to your breath again, please. Maybe drawing the attention a little deeper into the body, so feeling the abdomen, the belly in, expanding as you inhale, softening as you exhale. And then begin to hear the sound of the harmonium. And maybe as you hear the sound of the harmonium, you start to hear the mantra OM, OM. And then if you'd like to join, we'll tune in by chanting that OM. Take a nice, expansive, deep breath in to chant. So as we move through the physical practice this morning together, I wanna offer and invite you to play this little game where you, you know, move the body, listen to the body, notice sounds, and then can you flip that awareness on yourself and come home to yourself, right? So I'll, I'll try to remember to keep cueing that as we practice this morning, right? So. Can you come home to yourself? Can you turn the awareness back on this witness that is you? Even if it's just for a split second. And then we go on moving and practicing, right? So just kind of let it be a game though, right? There's no like right or wrong way. Just let it be this game. Okay. All right, so take a deep breath in and exhale out the mouth. If your eyes are closed, go ahead and open them, please. Mm. Let's start on our backs. <clears throat> kind of like when we have these more fiery classes to get a little bit more stabilized in the core, right? And the abdominal sheath and the pelvis and the hips. So per usual with me, right? So you're on your back. Your knees are bent, your feet are on the floor. And just notice how this feels to shift your body into this shape. You can let the arms just relax on the, side, the sides of the body on the floor and begin to rock your knees from side to side a few times. And don't force the depth of this movement, just allow it to go wherever it wants to go. So you might be making little 
baby windshield wipers, so they might be bigger. Noticing where you feel movement and tightness and openness and cricks and creaks and all that stuff. And so we're checking in with the hips, right? The thighs, but also how do the feet feel? Like, do you feel really connected through all the parts of the bottoms of the feet? And then also noticing how does the back feel? How does the mid back feel? How do the shoulders feel? The neck, the jaw, the head, the arms, so all of the body. And then I'll have you come back to center, please. So feet are on the floor, knees are bent. And we'll get a little bit more intentional with the, with the feet placement. So you want them a little bit farther away from the bum, right? So if you're used to yoga and you do a lot of like classes where we do bridge pose, sometimes you'll get this cue to have your heels kind of close to your butt cheeks. I want you to walk them away a little bit farther, please. Press the soles of the feet down so you'll feel the four corners, right? The inside corner, outside corners of the, uh, the balls of the feet and the heels. And lift your toes up for a moment, spread them wide and float them down. So there's this lightness to them. And then we'll bring the hands behind probably the base of the skull or right around the back of the neck here. And let the elbows kind of trace the ceiling above you till you feel the shoulder blades glued to the back body. Take a deep breath in here and as you exhale, lift your pelvic floor till you feel your low back press into the ground. Keep the butt cheeks nice and relaxed here. And then we'll just lift the head up, tuck the chin, belly button to backbone. So we're nice and engaged here and hollowed out. And then as we inhale, we'll lower the head back down and neutralize the pelvis. We'll release all of that lower belly engagement. And then exhale again, tilt the pelvis, lift the head, tuck the chin. So try to keep the front of the throat nice and soft here. And then inhale, come back down. Three more like that, please. So exhale, soft jaw, soft throat. Inhale back down. Exhale. Inhale. One more, exhale, inhale, awesome. Okay, bring the elbows down to the floor. So make little robot arms with, your, uh, with yourself here. So the palms are facing each other, the fingertips are up towards the ceiling. And just like we did in those crunches, I want you to tilt your pelvis using your pelvic floor and now engage your butt muscles as you, as you lift your hips up off of the floor. So again, the toes are light, so see if you can kind of like find like jazz fingers with your toes, right? You can press the feet down and kind of back a bit here so you feel the hamstrings wake up. And then maybe you wriggle your shoulder blades underneath you a little bit more here and let the weight roll up the spine if that feels safe. And then exhale, lower the hips down. We'll just do that a few times. So uh, inhale to expand the belly. Exhale, contract the belly, tilt the pelvis, lift the hips, long low back. So you feel the tailbone charging towards your knees, the heels towards your shoulders here. Take an inhale in this shape and then exhale, lower down. Neutralize everything as you inhale. Exhale, contract, tilt, lift, lengthen. Hold here, keep the glutes nice and engaged, but inhale, pop the tummy up. And then exhale, lower it all down. Inhale, expand the belly. Exhale, contract, tilt, lift, lengthen. Inhale, pop up the belly. Exhale, lower down. One more, inhale. Exhale, contract, tilt, lift, lengthen. Inhale to stay, exhale, lower down. Awesome, bring the fingers behind the head again. So interlace the fingers like we did before and trace the ceiling with the elbows again so you feel the shoulder blades glue to the back body. Invitation to stay with the feet on the floor or to take the feet off of the floor with the knees above the hips. As you do this, this can create strain on the low back. So I want you to lift your pelvic floor till you feel the, the pelvis tilt here. The throat is nice and relaxed here. And then as you exhale, we'll lift up into that crunch again, hollow out the belly. Inhale, come back down. So feet are on or off the floor, but you can follow me for this next part. So exhale, lift, twist to your left. Good, come back through center, stay please. Twist to your right, In, come through center, inhale, lower down. 
Exhale, lift. Soft throat. Twist to your right this time, please. Come back through center. Hold the exhale if you can. Twist to your left. Good morning, abdomens. Twist, come back to center. Inhale. And again, exhale, lift. Twist to your left. Stay relaxed. Come through center. Twist to your right. Come through center. Lower back down. Inhale. One more. Exhale. Twist to your right. Come through center. Hold the exhale if you can. Twist to your left. Inhale through center and down. Lower your feet. Relax your arms. And I might suggest this time with the palms facing up towards the ceiling. And then rock your knees from side to side. Okay, come back to this practice. Notice what's showing up. Notice sensation. Notice thoughts. Notice feelings. Come to stillness with the legs. Heel toe your feet out as wide as your mat. Knock your knees in towards each other. And now come home to yourself. So you're noticing all these sensations and just at the a, a split second, snap of the fingers, bring the awareness back to the witness. I think it's kind of trippy, <laughs> right? And then we come back to rocking the knees from side to side. Okay. And then the next time you rock your knees to one side, you're going to stay there, roll to one side, and then press yourself up and come to a tabletop position, hands and knees. So I have been having some interesting carpal tunnel stuff happen, so we're going to put some of that into the class today. So we're in our tabletop shape. So before we put a lot of weight on the hands, if it works for you, please hook your toes and shift your weight back. So this is a nice stretch for the Achilles, the soles of the feet, but it gets the weight off of the hands. So if this is too much on the toes, then soften the tops of the feet. So almost like we're coming into heroes, but keep the hands on the floor. So the fingers are spread wide here. Okay. And I want you to press a little bit more into your thumbs and your pinkies. Press down, 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 and then scrunch them towards each other until you feel the palms of the hands lift a bit here. Notice if as you did this, the tops of the shoulders tried to help. Can you soften the tops of the shoulders? And maybe if you like to do like extra, you know, double things here like I do, shift your hips back even more and stretch through the soles of the feet, stretch through the Achilles as you continue to squeeze your thumb and your pinkies towards each other. Take a deep breath in and out. Okay, relax your fingers and shift your weight now forward again into your tabletop position. Okay, from here, let's see how far the hands want to go if we rotate the fingers back towards our knees. Now, some of us can do this more than others, and so I want you to just go to the depth that feels okay for you here. I know for me, I'm like, whoo, mama, <laughs> right? So wherever you're at in this shape, I want you to press the finger pads down a little bit more to, to your tolerance, right? Sometimes this can be pretty intense. And then go through a couple of cat cows. So exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin and your tailbone. Inhale, press your chest forward and up. Find that length through the side body. Exhale, round. Inhale, forward and up. Two more. Exhale, round. Inhale, forward and up. One more. Exhale, round. Inhale, forward and up. Come back to neutral spine, please. Rotate the hands forward, okay? Shift your weight into the right hand just a little bit more so you can come off of the left hand, shake it out like you're flicking water off your fingertips. Come back onto the left hand, shift your weight to the left hand, shake out the right. Nice, okay? Come back to center here. And then we'll find that engagement in the shoulder girdle. So bend your elbows out to the side, right? So like 1980s Gold's Gym style push-up, right? And then wrap the triceps back so you'll feel the pits of the elbows come forward and feel the shoulder blades glued to the back body. Now press the floor away from you a little bit so you feel a little tiny bit of rounding action in the upper back. Pull the chin back up in space and then hollow out your belly so you feel a nice long line through the spine here. Toes are hooked, okay? And then as you're ready, with a nice strong low belly, hover the knees off the floor about an inch or two. Now if this is not tolerable, Keep the knees on the floor, but engage all the muscles like you're gonna do it, okay? Feel the side body lengthen. So you like, think about your rib cage pressing between your arms. Here we go, right? So notice sensation, notice thoughts, 
Notice feelings. Breathe. And now come home to yourself. Notice the noticer. Good. Take an exhale. And as you inhale, lift your hips up and back to downward facing dog, please. Oh, pedal your feet. Then come to stillness in your Adho Mukha Svanasana, please. So again, uh, find that engagement in the shoulder girl. So elbows come out to the side, wrap the triceps back. But this time, press your hands down and forward to create more traction and length in the spine. The heels may not be touching the floor, but they're charging towards the floor. The knees do not have to be straight, but there's a lifting action through the backs of the legs. Hollow out the belly. Feel if that helps to broaden the low back and maybe let the head hang. Take a deep breath in. Out. Hold the exhale if you can. Bring your gaze forward and then tiptoe your feet to your hands and come to a fold at the front of your mat, please. Knees can again be really bent as you find your halfway lift. So maybe slide your fingertips in the front of your shin, send your booty back. And then exhale to fold. Now get really deep with the bend of your knees. And we're gonna take the palms and slide them underneath the hands. So the toes are right up towards your wrist crease. I like to give myself a little tickle here, <laughs> wiggle the toes. Okay, so you might really, really bend the knees here. And then see how it feels to shift your weight forward a little bit as you bend your elbows and pull them towards your shins. So maybe you're stretching a little bit in the tops of the hands and the, the forearms here. Keep the bend of the knees, but start to pull the weight back into the heels. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And then slowly come back to neutral with the weight distribution. Take your hands out from underneath your feet. Press your palms down into your feet for a moment, ground here. And then walk your hands up your legs and come to stand. <sighs> Find a sway here like we do in our centering practice, right? So feel the weight distribution through the feet. Feel the sway of the ankle joints, the knees, the hips, the spine. The arms are dangling on the sides of the body. Take a few nice light shoulder rotations. So as you inhale, feel the shoulders drift forward, up back and down. Two more like that. Really feel the dimensions of your rib cage. Feel this softness, this lightness. And the next time the shoulder blades are going down the back, just wiggle your fingers down, rotate your palms forward, magnetize the fingertips towards the floor. Take an inhale. And exhale. Then we'll inhale, swoop our arms out and up overhead. And exhale to a fold forward. Inhale, find a halfway lift, please. And then exhale, step your right foot back and bring your right knee down. We're just gonna move through some sun salutations. Inhale, swoop your fingertips forward and up. Reach up, 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 up. Exhale, hands to the floor. Lift your right knee up, step your left foot back, find yourself in a plank position. Wrap your triceps back, lengthen through the side body. And on your next exhale, lower your knees, your chest, and your chin. <sighs> Inhale, slide your chest forward and up, find your cobra. And then as you exhale, transition to downward facing dog, please. Take one complete breath cycle here. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, float your right leg up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, pull your knee towards your nose, place your right foot inside your right hand, bring the left knee down. And then inhale, swoop your fingertips forward and up. Exhale, hands to the floor. Left knee lifts, left foot steps forward, find your fold at the front of your mat, please. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bring your fingers to your hip creases, please. Press your hips back. Feel the lengthening of the backs of the legs. Feel the rooting down of the heels. And then with a long spine, inhale, swoop yourself up to stand. And then arms come out and up overhead till the palms touch over your head. Bend your elbows, the thumbs will drift down towards the back of the skull, the back of the neck. Stay soft and open as you gently lean the head back into the hands. 
And then slowly bring the hands down to heart center as you neutralize your spine. And then bring the arms down the sides of the body. Take a deep breath in. Out. In, swoop the arms out and up, please. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your left foot back, left knee comes down. Inhale, swoop your fingertips forward and up, find your low lunge. Exhale, hands to the floor. Left knee lifts, right foot steps back, find your plank. Reminder, the knees can come down immediately, okay? Long through the side body. Inhale. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, hug your elbows in. Inhale, slide yourself forward and up to your cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog, please. Take a deep breath in and out. Inhale, float the left leg up towards the ceiling. Exhale, knee towards nose, foot inside that left hand, right knee comes down. Inhale, fingertips come forward and up. And exhale, down they go again, hands to the floor. Lift the right knee up, step the right foot forward, you're back in your fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hollow out your low belly, please. Exhale to fold. Fingers come into your hip creases, press your hips back, feel that deepening of the hip hinge here. Press the heels down and apart, feel the outer hips wake up, and then inhale, come up to stand. Arms come out and up overhead. This time, interlace your fingers except for your pointer fingers, finding temple mudra. Root down through the feet, flip the rib cage away from the pelvis, and then side stretch to your right, please. Maybe you press your hips a little bit more to the left. Then inhale through center, side stretch to the other side. Then inhale up through center, and then exhale hands down through heart center and to the side of the body. Find a sway. Feel your body find its own alignment. Notice sensation, thoughts, feelings. And then come home to yourself. Pull the awareness in. Notice the noticer. Exhale, root down through the feet. Magnetize the fingertips towards the floor, please. Inhale, swoop the arms out and up. Exhale, fold forward. Beautiful. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands this time and step back to downward facing dog, please. Good. Find that engagement in the shoulder girdle, right? So think about the elbows bending out to the side and then you wrap the backs of the arms back Feel the shoulder blades glued to the back body. Press the hands down and forward. Hollow out the belly. So again, the knees might still be pretty damn bent here. Root down a little bit more into the left foot and then take your right foot and cross it behind your left ankle. So the pinkies might kind of touch. Whew, my hips are tight. Okay, so the knees might be bent, but squeeze your inner thighs towards each other and up towards the ceiling. Breathe. Then we'll just go to the other side. So bring the right foot back. Root down, find your stability on that right foot, and then lift the left foot up just a little bit to cross it behind the right ankle, pinky toe to pinky toe maybe. Wrap the inner thighs towards each other and back. Hollow out the belly, keep the, the arms nice and strong. Okay, and then lift the left foot up and back, come back to your downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. All right, and then exhale, we'll come down almost to tabletop. Hover the knees, please, unless this is not tolerable, and then you bring the knees down. But we're all gonna continue to wrap the triceps back and lengthen through the side body. So sometimes I think of like a turtle head coming out of a shell. <laughs> Get really long through the neck. Soften the face. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, lower the knees down, soften the tops of the feet into the mat, and then shift yourself back to child's pose for a moment, please. Get off of the wrists. So either with the arms extended long along the ears or down the sides of the body, either way, just a couple of like gentle open and closing of the fists of the hands. And steadying your breath. Awesome. Okay, then come to stillness. Take a deep breath in and out. And then slowly rise yourself back up to hands and knees. 
So again, we're gonna spend a little bit of time on our hands. So if this becomes too much, right? So know there's an option to bring your hands into fists, or if you have a block handy, you can come down onto your forearm, okay? Forearm on the block. So either way, we're in our tabletop. The low belly is nice and engaged, and you're still feeling that length in the side body. Now anchor down through the right hand and bring your left hand behind your head. So you're chicken winging this elbow, this left elbow out to the side. So we're gonna start to twist, but I want you to think about what is going on with your shoulder blades. Like think about the, the right shoulder blade sliding from side to side on the upper ribs. So we're gonna press down through the right hand and then open the chest to the left and feel that right shoulder blade sliding under the upper back. And then slowly bring that left elbow to touch maybe the right forearm. And then inhale, press the left elbow up. Exhale down. Three more, inhale, open up, press that right hand down. Exhale down, two more. Feel the strength of the muscles underneath your shoulder blades. And down, low belly is engaged to keep pelvis nice and steady, one more. And down, awesome. Come back to center, so that center is with the left elbow chicken winged out to the side. And then come into a cactus arm with that left hand, just for a moment and then bring the left hand down underneath you. Oh my goodness, okay. Find a cat cow, exhale, round the spine. Inhale, find your extension. Exhale to neutral, okay? And then we do all that stuff on the other side. So root down through the left hand, bring the right fingertips behind your skull and chicken wing that right elbow out to the side. Now think about the movement coming from the scapula, the shoulder blades. As you press that left arm down, you slide the left shoulder blade on the back and up comes that right elbow towards the ceiling. Now exhale, bring the right elbow to the left forearm and then inhale, open it up. So again, the low belly is nice and engaged. So the pelvis is pretty damn still here as you open and close with your breath. So inhale to open, exhale to close. Inhale to open, exhale to close. One more please, inhale to open. Exhale to close, inhale to open. This time, exhale to find neutral. Soften through the neck, please. And then cactus arm that right arm. And then bring the right hand down to the floor. So now we're back in our quadruped or our tabletop position. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, find extension. Exhale, find neutral. Soften the tops of the feet into the mat. Let your big toes touch and then widen your knees as wide as your mat. Shift yourself back into child's pose for a moment. Maybe walk your hands forward. If it feels okay in your body, let the center of the chest rest on the floor. So with a little bit of an extension in the spine here and releasing the rib cage between the arms. And let the head rest on something and then rock your forehead from side to side a few times. Then tent your fingertips underneath your shoulders and then roll yourself up to heroes with the wide knees. You all know I love this move, right? So you're gonna take the right hand behind your back, lift your hips off the, the heels as you lift your left arm up. Big opening here. And then exhale, drag your left fingertips, your right fingertips in front of you, and then lift yourself up on the other side. One more time each side. So big half moon shape in front of you, lift up to the right. Big half moon shape to the left, lift up. Awesome, come back to center. So seated on your heels, hands at heart center just for a moment. So here we are. If this is unbearable, bring knees together, sit on a block, we'll just be here for a second. Hands are at heart center, interlace your fingers, please. Stay soft from the temple, the sides of the neck, the tops of the shoulders, and now press your palms forward. Gently pull the heads of the arm bones back into your shoulder socket. Find a little lift in your pelvic floor. And then keeping the sides of the neck and the top of the shoulder soft, float your arms up along your ears. Exhale, slide your shoulder blades down your back body. Inhale, lift your rib cage away from your pelvis. Exhale, round your upper back as you tuck your chin, press your hands forward. Inhale, open the arms out to the side, neutralize the spine. Exhale, drift the arms down the sides of the body. One big old circle with those shoulders. So as you inhale, the shoulders come forward, they float up. As you exhale, they come back and down. 
Lovely. Crawl your hands forward, please. Come back to your tabletop. Hopefully you're a little more acquainted with all these muscles in the upper back now, <laughs> right? So we're gonna engage them, wrap the triceps back, press the floor away from you, feel the shoulder blades glue to the back body, hollow out your belly, press the back of the skull up in space, find length in the side body. Hook your toes, hover the knees off the floor for three, two, one, inhale hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and out. Inhale, float the right leg up towards the ceiling. Bend your knees, stack your hips, find that hip opener. So that left knee can be pretty damn bent. You're rooting down through the left heel. Can you lift that right he knee up towards the ceiling a little more? Okay, try to keep this upside down V shape as you square your hips and then pull your knee towards your nose. And then as you inhale, press the heel up and stack the hips again. We'll do that two more times. So square the hips, strong low belly, pull the knee towards the nose, and then press the heel up and open up the hip. One more, square the hips, pull the knee towards the nose, then press the heel up and stack the hips. Okay, this time, square the hips, pull the knee towards the nose, but now shift your weight forward. So here we are. If you want to, you can have the back of that foot tapped on the floor, but suck the thigh up towards the chest and press the floor away from you. And then work this right foot in between your hands and pivot your left heel down into warrior two. And then come on up. So I'm a big fan of just letting the arms flop when we first get here. So you can really get this strength in the hips and the low body, okay? So feel the head of your right femur, your right thigh bone, pulling in and down. And that action might feel like a big stretch in the inner thigh, <laughs> but you'll also feel that your knee charged forward, okay? And that's to your depth. This left leg is anchored down, and let's all take the left hand and just rest it on the outer thigh for a moment. Gently press your hand into your thigh and press your thigh into your hand. High glute, high hip, okay? Now bring your hands to heart center. Again, soften from the temple, through the ears, the sides of the neck, tops of the shoulders. Take an inhale into your heart space. Keep all that stuff soft to the shoulders as you extend your arms out to the side. That's so beautiful. Okay, start to twist your arms in opposite direction. Really get some jazz hands going here. Like really spread the fingers wide. And then maybe start to turn your head as well. So we got this really beautiful light movement going on in the ribs and the shoulders and the head and the neck. And can you keep encouraging that right hip to tuck underneath you? Feel the glutes wrapping underneath you. Good. Two more rotations, please. I'll meet you at center, so the palms are going to be up this time. Radiate from the center of the heart out through the fingertips, but pull the shoulder blades towards each other at the same time. Pull your feet towards each other. Exhale. Inhale, find exalted warrior. So we'll reach the right arm up towards the ceiling. The left hand will either slide down the leg or you can bend your elbow and rest your forearm on your low back. Keep pulling that right hip underneath you and reach up. And now maybe bend this right elbow and cradle your head with your hand. Press the back of the skull in the hand so you're nice and open here through the chest. Soften the jaw. Inhale. Exhale, let's come to side angle. So we'll bring the right forearm to the thigh. Straighten the left arm and then slice the air in front of you with that left arm until the bicep is along the ear. Stay here or maybe hover, right? So you start to reach the right hand towards the floor. Stay here or if you're feeling into it, you might bind a little bit. So you can take this right hand, rotate the palm back, bend the elbow, and maybe see if you can find the back of your thigh. Keep the chest nice and open. If this is coming to you today, we're going to rotate the top arm back, bend the elbow, and see if it wants to rest on the low back or maybe you find your hands. Again, please keep the chest open. Keep that right hip underneath you. And it's not better if you do this or not, right? This is just an option. Take a breath wherever you're at. Come home to yourself. Notice the noticer. Exhale. Strong legs. Inhale, exalted warrior. Whew. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the floor, please. Pivot onto the ball of your left foot. Step yourself back to plank position. Nice. 
Wrap the triceps back. Roll your heels to the right. Press down through the right hand. Lift yourself up into a supported side plank. Beautiful, you guys. Left hand comes down. Roll to the balls of your feet. Roll the heels to the left. Plug down through that left hand. Reach your right arm up, side plank. Come back to center. Take an inhale, grow long. Exhale, lower knees, chest, chin. Inhale, slide forward and up to your cobra or up dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Three to five breaths here or in child's pose or anything else that feels like rest. So seated, standing. It's your practice, it's your body. Trust your instinct on what feels like rest. Steady breath. Good job, you guys. Let's all breathe together. Take an inhale. And an exhale. Invitation to come to Downward Facing Dog if you're not there already. Okay. And then here we go on the other side. So float the left leg up towards the ceiling. Bend the left knee, stack the hips, find that hip opener here. So again, you can have a nice deep bend in that left knee. Keep pressing the hands down and forward. Now keep the upside down V-shape of your body as you square your hips and round your spine as you pull your knee towards your nose. Strong low belly. Then press the left heel up and open back up into that hip opener. Two more. Exhale. Knee to nose. Inhale. Gentle hip opener. One more. Exhale. Knee to nose. Inhale up. Okay, and then this time, right, you're going to exhale knee to nose and shift your weight forward, challenge yourself here, right? So maybe the foot comes on the floor for support, but we're sucking the thigh up towards the chest, pressing the floor away, and then we work the left foot inside the left, the hands, pivot that right heel down, and up you come to warrior two on the other side. Beautiful. Reminder to soften through the arms and the shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> Left thigh bone, right? The head of the thigh bone. This is such a deep socket, right? It wants to welcome that thigh bone in. So pull the thigh in and under you and feel the knee charge a little more, feel a little more stability. And then find that little lift of the back thigh. So right hand to the side of the thigh. Just a gentle pressure of the hand into the thigh, the thigh into the hand. And then all of that, and then you pull your feet towards each other just a little bit. Awesome. Hands to heart center, please. For a moment here, again, temples, sides of the neck, tops of the shoulders soft. But as you bring the heels of the hands down, can you flare the elbows out so we're stretching through the forearms and the hands a little bit more here. Shoulder blades are drifting down the back. Take an inhale. Exhale, float the arms out to the side. Warrior two. And then again, with broad fingers, start to twist the arms in opposite direction. And maybe the head starts to turn as well. Notice sensation, notice thoughts, notice feeling, and then come home to yourself. At the snap of a finger, notice the noticer. So cool. Okay, one more twist. I'll meet you at center with the palms up. We're going to radiate the fingertips out, but pull the shoulder blades together gently. Pull the feet towards each other. Exhale. Inhale, find exalted warrior. Again, this right hand might slide down the thigh, or you might bend the elbow and rest the forearm on the back of the head, or the back of the back. <laughs> and then we'll bend the left elbow, hand to the back of the skull. If you are choosing this variation, play around with the idea of pressing the skull back into the hand to open up the chest here. Take an inhale and really feel this openness you've created in the left side of the body. And then we'll exhale, transition to side angle. Start with the left forearm on the thigh, straighten the right hand, and then slice the air in front of you with that arm till the bicep is maybe along the ear. 
Maybe you squeeze this right butt cheek just a little more. Okay. This is a great place to hang out. And if you're wanting a little more fire, a little more heat, you might start to drift this left hand down. Keep coaxing this left hip underneath you. Keep the chest open, please. And if you want to explore the bind, you can always start and then like quit, right? So maybe you rotate the left palm back, bend the elbow, and you're like, uh, not today. <laughs> or maybe it goes underneath the thigh, chest stays open, and then the right palm flips back, you bend the elbow. The hands might touch or you might just rest your hands on the back body. Keep pulling the left hip back and down. Keep spiraling the rib cage forward and up. Breathe. Breathe all the way to the base of your pelvis, please. Inhale. Exhale, root down through the feet. Inhale up to exalted warrior, strong legs. Good, you guys. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Pivot onto the ball of the right foot. Step the left foot back, we're in our plank. Bind your strength here. Maybe widen your feet just a little bit. Pivot the heels to the right. Press down through the right hand. Reach the left fingertips up towards the sky. Feel that right shoulder blade slide on the upper back. Hands comes down, you're back in your plank. Shift your heels to the left, root down through the left hand. Reach the right arm up, find your side plank, other side. Beautiful, you guys. Right hand comes down. Take an inhale, exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, back bend, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth. Lower the knees down, please. Soften the tops of the feet into the floor. Heels, hips over heels, and down we go into child's pose. Let it go. Soften where you can. Notice what is showing up for you in this moment. Can you follow your next breath cycle from beginning to end? <sighs> All right, let's slowly come back up to our downward facing dog, please. How much ease can you find in this shape? Right, so I give you lots of cues on how to find alignment and strength and things, doing things healthy, right? But where can you find ease in this shape? Can you trust that instinct? Okay, take one more breath here, please. And then lower yourself down to tabletop, please. <clears throat> Find your stability here again. So if that little movement helps with the shoulders, right? So you flare the elbows out, wrap the triceps back. You can also think of your hands being on two jar lids, right? And you're twisting the right jar lid to the right, the left jar lid to the left. And all of these cues for me are to try to get you to really engage the muscles around and underneath your shoulder blades, okay? Find a lift in the low belly. Let's stay long through the side body. And let's press the right heel up towards the ceiling with the knee bent. Draw three circles going forward with that right knee, trying to keep the pelvis still. So the, the movement may be big or small depending on your body. And then three circles in the other direction. One, two, three. Okay, come back to center. So press that heel up, find a little extension in the back. So Press your chest forward and up to your depth that feels safe. 
and then pull the knee towards the nose as you round your back and then work the right foot inside the right hand so that you're in a lunge here. Maybe shift the left knee back a bit and then bring the right hand inside the right foot. So support yourself here if you need to. So if you want to have a block to bring the floor higher up to you, please do it. You can tighten your fingertips, right? <clears throat> then plug down through the left hand and just like we've been doing, feel the movement from the shoulder blades as you reach the right arm up towards the ceiling coming into a twist. Just for a moment. Then bring that right hand back down. Plug down through the right hand. Hug your right knee into your right upper arm as you pull the left arm up towards the ceiling. Nice. Okay, bring the left hand down. Take an inhale and lengthen your spine. Puff your chest forward. Plug down through the big toe mound of your right foot as you pull your hips back and work towards straightening that right leg. High hamstring, okay? Keep the length in the side body. Then bend into that right knee and come back to your lunge. We're gonna do that one more time. Plug down through the left hand and then steer your right shoulder up towards the ceiling and the arm follows. Right hand comes down. Hug the right knee into the right upper arm, plug down, and then steer the left shoulder up towards the ceiling, arm follows. And then bring the left hand down. As you inhale, lengthen the spine, puff the chest forward and up. Plug down through the big toe mount of the right foot, pull the hips back, work towards straightening that right knee. Nice. Bend into the right knee. This time, lift the left knee off the floor, unless this is creating pain, okay? And then plug down through the left hand, steer the right shoulder up, and then twist to the right. Right hand comes down. Hug the right knee into the right upper arm. Plug down through the right hand, steer the left shoulder up. Beautiful, you guys. Left hand comes down. Inhale, puff the chest forward and up, long spine. Plug down through the big toe mount of the right foot. Pull your hips back, straighten, work towards straightening that right leg. Maybe you tuck your chin. Bend into the right knee, press your chest forward and up. Hug that right knee into the right upper arm. Come to the ball of the right foot and then maybe lift the foot off the floor and point the toes back behind you, maybe. <laughs> then we'll step the right foot back into plank. Take an inhale, find that length in the side body. Lower knees, chest, chin. Inhale, slide your chest forward and up, long through the toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lower down to your knees. Soften the tops of the feet into the mat. Shift your hips back onto your heels and come off of your hands. Gentle fists with the hands. And then, strangely, a very challenging movement for me. <laughs> You're gonna start to draw like circles with the fists or like figure eights, I don't know, <laughs> okay? <laughs> kind of floppy and then switch the direction. Da, 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 da. Oh, you guys totally got it. That's some sweet moves. Some of you guys are kind of doing this, <laughs> okay? Come to center. Again, soften from the temple, the sides of the neck, tops of the shoulders. And now reach your arms forward with the, the knuckles away from you, okay? And then start to pull your wrists out a little bit, like you're trying to pull your fingers apart, but let them stay linked. So you might kind of hook with your fingertips here. Nice. Now butterfly your elbows out as you press the palms towards your chest. Yeah, and almost press the elbows forward a little bit. So if you can see in my body, I'm kind of pressing forward here. So it's kind of like this action only towards yourself. Yeah, spread your fingers wide. Now rotate the palms forward, press your hands forward. Soft through the sides of the neck. Reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, cactus arms. So feel the shoulder blades come down the back of the body, open up the chest, maybe a little wiggle. Good. And then shake the hands out. All right. And then we're back to tabletop. We're gonna do the other side. <laughs> okay, so find your hands and knees. Right now you really know what's coming, so if the hips are tight, please don't push it. You can use a block or fists or whatnot, okay? Find that strength in the upper back, press the floor away from you. Press the chin up towards the throat, hollow out the low belly. Press the left heel up towards the ceiling, keeping the knee bent, and then three circles going forward with that left leg. Two, breathe as you do this, please. 
and then back one, two, three, and then meet you back with that donkey kick of that left foot up towards the ceiling, extend the back, exhale, round the spine, pull the knee towards the nose, and then work that left foot inside the left hand to begin with, maybe shift the right knee back just a little bit, and then bring the left hand inside the left foot. You might widen your stance. Find stability here with your arms. Find a little lift in the low belly. So you might think about the pubic bone pulling up towards your low ribs. Plug down through the right hand. Feel the right shoulder blade slide on the back as you steer your left shoulder up towards the ceiling and then the arm follows. Then bring the left hand back down. Hug the left knee into the left upper arm and then steer your right shoulder up towards the ceiling, the arm follows. Right hand comes down. Inhale, puff the chest forward and up, lengthen your spine. Plug down through the big toe mount of that left foot, pull your hips back. The left leg goes towards straight, but we're not forcing it. Keep the side body long, please. Bend the left knee forward, we're back in our lunge. Plug down through the right hand, to the left hand, steer the right arm up towards the ceiling. And then lower back down. And then other side, plug down through the right hand, lift the left arm up towards the ceiling. Steer it back down. Puff the chest forward and up on your inhale. Pull your hips back, plug down through the big toe mound of the left foot. So we're not rolling onto the heel with this variation. Bend the left knee, come back. And then lift the right knee off of the floor. So the right inner thigh is rotating up towards the ceiling. We're working towards keeping the hips nice and square here. Plug down through the right hand, steer the left shoulder up towards the ceiling, find that twist on the left. Left hand comes down, hug the left knee into the left upper arm, this will help with stability. Steer the right shoulder up towards the ceiling, maybe the right hand follows, and then right hand comes down. Inhale, puff the chest forward, exhale, pull your hips back, press into that imaginary gas pedal with your left foot. Then we come forward again, bend into the left knee. Now again, wrap the triceps back, find that strength in the upper back, the length through the spine, and then hug your left knee into your left upper arm, and then come to the ball of the foot, and then maybe point that left toe back behind you. Step the left foot back. <laughs> Take an inhale. Exhale, lower, knees, chest, chin. And this time, just slither yourself onto your back. Rest on your forehead or a cheek. Bring your arms along the sides of your body. <sighs> Find a little wiggle. <sighs> Almost done with the active part. <sighs> okay. Bring your forehead onto the floor if it's not there already and then reach your arms out long. So superhero shape, right? Before we start with this, please lift your left leg up, pull it back and down. Lift your right leg up, pull it back and down. So you've got lots of length in the hips here. And think about the pinky toes rolling towards the floor. So you're rotating the thighs up towards the ceiling, the inner thighs. Now plug your pubic bone down towards the ground. And as you inhale, lift your head, your chest, your legs, your arms. So superhero, okay? Then as you exhale, pull your feet apart and bend your elbows into cactus arms. And then inhale, bring them back together. Do this three more times, please. Exhale, pull the legs apart, bend the elbows. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, bend. Inhale, come back up. I lost count, I think we do one more. <laughs> exhale, come apart. Inhale, back together. And then see, can you lift your arms a little bit more? So feel the shoulder blades glue to the back body. Rotate the inner thighs up towards the ceiling for three, two, one. Exhale, let it go. Maybe stack your hands on top of each other, rest your forehead on your hands. Widen your legs just a bit and wiggle your bum. Come to center, come to stillness. Take a deep breath into your belly. Nice. Now let's slowly bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Press yourself up to tabletop. Back in our hands and knees. Exhale, round the spine. Find your cat back. Inhale, find your cow. Find that extension. Exhale.
exhale, come to neutral. Let's thread the needle. So we're gonna reach the right arm up towards the ceiling on our inhale, and then exhale, slide the back of that right hand behind your left arm and nestle down onto the, left, the right shoulder if that feels safe. You can always rest your head on a block. Let there be a sense of heaviness to the head and the shoulders. And just allow the ribcage to drift down towards the floor. Left hand is underneath the shoulder. Press that hand down to the ground to assist you in coming out of the twist. So again, reach the right arm up towards the ceiling just for a moment. And then come back to tabletop. And move intuitively. So maybe you sway your hips, maybe you cat cow. Just do something to kind of reset yourself. And then I'll meet you back in tabletop. Then we'll reach the left arm up towards the ceiling and find that needle, thread the needle on the other side. So the back of the left hand slides behind the right arm. Nestle down onto your left shoulder or a block. And then allow there to be a sense of heaviness to the head, the shoulders. And we bring that right hand underneath that right shoulder, gently press it to the floor to come out of the twist, reach the left arm up towards the ceiling, and then come back to your tabletop position, please. And then we'll transition onto our back. So just shift your hips from one side to the other, swing your legs around, and roll yourself down onto your back. And once you get there, maybe hug the knees into the chest for a moment, rock from side to side. And then float the legs up towards the ceiling, like very minimal amount of effort here. And I tend to be an efforty type person, so it might help to shake a little bit, to be like, okay, muscles, you can chill out, <laughs> right? And then get the arms involved, so just shake, shake, shake it out. Maybe a, as we cue to the body that we're coming down into our resting shape here. Awesome. Okay, and then Gently let the arms come down, bend the knees, bring the feet onto the floor. Find a gentle figure four stretch really briefly. So right ankle comes onto the left thigh. And stay right here, this is a great shape. If you wanna deepen, feel the heads of the leg bones, so the femur bones pulling apart, and then maybe gather the legs towards the body. So you're trying to broaden through the bum, the sits bones here. Maybe you interlace your fingers behind your thigh. Maybe you grab a shin. It's also an option to just let the arms rest on the floor. Can you feel the low back broadening into the ground? Can you send your breath all the way into your hips? Nice. Next, exhale. Drift that left foot back down onto the floor, please. And slowly transition other side. So now the right foot comes on the floor. Left ankle crosses on right thigh. Feel this broadness through the sits bones. And then maybe you pull the legs towards the body. Can you come home to yourself? Notice the noticer. <sighs> As you exhale, bring that right foot to the floor if it's off the floor. And we'll uncross the legs. Just like we started, right? Can you rock your knees from side to side? Notice any difference? Totally fine if there isn't. But just getting curious if there's any difference from now, between now and the beginning of class. 
Mm. All right. And now we'll start our transition to Shavasana, final relaxation. Okay, so there's time if you want another stretch or movement that I didn't offer in class today. Right, and as always, that lecture of take the time to make yourself comfortable. Right, so grab blankets, grab your pet, <laughs> you know, put a sweater on, whatever, you get a drink of water, whatever it, little thing you can do for yourself to support yourself. And being able to really release into this shape. Can you settle in and reside in the container of your body? This beautiful support structure that you have for yourself. Can you feel the, the density yet malleability of your body as it reclines or sits? Can you feel the steadiness of your breath? and your heartbeat. And then once again, can you come home to yourself? Can you notice the part of you that is you that is noticing all of these things? And then can you just release all effort?
Gently start to bring your attention back into your body, please. Notice how you feel. And begin to deepen your breath. And as you deepen your breath, start to find movement in your body that feels good to you. And slowly allow that movement to grow. Being very gentle with yourself. Bring yourself back to a seated shape, please. Notice how your body supports you as you transition into a different shape. And as you settle into this upright position, try to keep the attention inward, please, and just follow your inhale and your exhale. It's perfectly fine and okay if thoughts jump in. Just bring your attention back. We'll begin to hear the sound of the harmonium. And allow that sound to begin to bridge the gap for you between your internal landscape and the external landscape. to join we'll close by chanting shanti 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 om so please take a deep breath into chant
Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. May you remember your true nature, which is love, trust, and reasonless joy. And may you remember that you are strong and wise. Thank you so much for being you and for sharing it. Namaste.